Here we are doing part two of our guy's bathroom makeover. Last time we put up one of these spray shower heads that has a really long 72 inch or 6 foot hose on it. And the reason we wanted that 6 foot hose is because it will stretch all the way past the 5 foot bathtub. The way we're going to clean it, this is really important because it's going to save so much time and energy and effort it's not even funny. But today, our project is to put a splash guard on both ends of the bathtub. Normally, we would use some of our standard splash guards. But for this project, I'll just show you quickly how these install. And the fact that when you get them, they're straight. Once you get them home, you bend them like this, and you fold it over like this, and bring it down to a point like this and then you peel a bit of adhesive off the base. You put this in the grout where you want it. You lay it down and bring it up the side. But uh, we can't get to that until we've cleaned this thoroughly because this adhesive is really tacky, but it won't go on if it's going on to a dirty surface. If there's soap scum on here or anything on the top of the tub or the tile, the adhesive on here is not going to stick very well. The other thing you might notice sometimes when you get these, the adhesive isn't stuck right around here. Well, that's because when we make them, we don't put the same amount of pressure on here as we do in the rest of the piece. Because what we do is we put a lot more adhesive around this corner so that when we bend it, and go to put it in, there'll still be lots of foam and adhesive right down in that critical corner. So don't be alarmed or surprised when you get some of our flashcards that this area may not be adhered. Once you put some pressure on, it'll adhere, so don't worry about that. But first, we've got to clean the surface where the adhesive is going to go on the tile and on the tub. And to do that, we're going to use lighter fluid, but it's actually naphtha, which is another mild solvent. We'll be able to clean the grout without damaging it. And so uh, the other thing we're going to need is we're going to use toilet paper to do that cleaning with. That way we can just throw it out. And for you guys that are going to be following along in my, uh, in my other series, you're going to end up buying toilet paper in the box if necessary. Because my whole thing about dating girls is and girls use a lot of toilet paper, so get used to it. But anyway, getting back to where we're, what we're talking about, all I'm going to do is clean this. And this will clean off all the residue. I think I haven't decided yet which side of either here or here that we'll put our um, splash guard. But I'm just going to clean about four inches. Now, if you're looking behind me, you might see that I've got two other flashcards. Now, I just showed you our standard flashcard, which is 19 inches by 8 inches. This one is 46 inches by the same on the top of the tub, which is 8 inches. And these are our what we call our supersized splash guards. We had some requests, so we were doing everything we could to satisfy those that asked. But what we also realize is that in the camera, the clear ones don't show up very well. So I did a, a video the other day on how you can actually decorate these. And so what this one is, is it's one that's being painted with burgundy red. And I used some metallic pen striping along this just to give it some accent. In my pen striping video, I explained that you can't turn corners with pen striping. So this is actually something this design was cut out of a flat piece. In fact, we're going to mount this one in here. As I said earlier, we bet this at the top so that it'll flare out a little. The nice thing about it up, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But I think I'll put it right on the outside of this space between the two tiles. Now, the large splash guards go on exactly the same as the standard one. The only difference is they're much longer, the portion that goes up the wall, because we're going to use it for a different purpose or an additional purpose. So we do it the same. The short piece on the bottom always goes on the outside. And so all we do is bring that in, fold it into the area that we want. Yesterday, we made little cuts in here so that we can actually turn this at the bottom as well. So we're going to turn this so that the water will flow on an arc back into the tub instead of just straight out. 
but that's okay, you'll see. So the first thing we're going to do is go straight onto the grout in the bottom corner. Three. And we're going to press it down really hard, the bottom piece, lay it down and curve it all at the same time, and put some pressure on. The top is going up the wall, it's totally loose. So all we're going to do is go up the wall, right there, and curve that out a little bit more. Just about like that. Okay, and there, that one's done. You can see that it flares out a little bit at the top and down at the bottom. It's curving in a little more than normal. Yeah, that's what we want. So I just need to uh, do the other side the same way.